Earlier, we found the context-free grammar for the regular language to have the set of variables, a start symbol, terminal symbols, and the production rules. But remember, every language corresponds to some finite automaton, and we can construct the finite automaton for the language, which might be something like this. And remember, we can construct a context-free grammar from the finite automaton by letting v be the set of states, sigma the set of symbols, and our transition rules correspond to grammar production rules. And any accepting state corresponds to the production rule state produces the empty string. And if we do that, we find the context-free grammar is going to have the variables equal to the states, our start symbol the same as our start state, our set of terminals, including the empty string, and a set of production rules. Now, if we compare the two grammars, we see that the context-free grammar found from the finite automaton has only two types of productions. If P and Q are in our set of variables and A is a terminal symbol, then we either have a production of the form P produces A Q or P produces the empty string. And this motivates the following idea. Suppose we have a context-free grammar. It's a regular grammar if every production rule in P has one of the following forms. Either B produces A, B produces A, C, or B produces the empty string, where A is a terminal symbol and B, C are variables. Now, clearly, any regular language produces a regular grammar. You should actually prove this. But will regular grammars always produce regular language? Well, let's find out. Suppose we have a regular grammar. The important question is, can we construct a finite automaton that accepts the same language? Our example suggests we can let our set of states be the same as a set of variables. Our start symbol corresponds to the initial state. And so all we need to do is find a transition function delta and identify the set of accepting states. Now again, a production rule like B produces A, C suggests a transition rule. If you're in state B and read an A, then go to state C. But what about production rules like B produces A? We can't have a transition rule like this since A is not a state. And so, in general, we can't construct a finite automaton from a regular grammar. Or can we? So, what if we tried to construct an NFA lambda from our regular grammar? Remember, non-deterministic finite automaton with lambda transitions are sometimes easier to set up. And since every NFA lambda can be converted into a finite automaton, we can make a finite automaton. In practice, we won't. It's enough to know that it could be done. To use the features of an NFA lambda to interpret the production rule B produces A or B produces the empty string, we'll introduce a new state F. Then instead of B produces A and B produces the empty string, we can rewrite this as B produces A F or B produces lambda f, and we can read these as transitions, and then we make f an accepting state in our NFA lambda. Consequently, we can make an NFA lambda from our context-free grammar, where our set of states is all the variables together with this new state. Our initial state is the same as our start symbol. Our accepting state is just this new state, and for any variables and any terminal symbol, 
we can write our transition rule. And this NFA accepts the same language as our context-free grammar. So let's try to create a finite automaton from a context-free grammar. So our states will be S, the starting state, along with A and B corresponding to the other variables, and a new state F, which will be our accepting state. Now the production rule S produces 0A corresponds to the transition if you're at S and read is 0, you'll go to A, and so we can draw in that transition. Likewise, S produces 1B corresponds to the transition if you're at S and read a 1, go to B. Finally, the production S produces the empty string corresponds to a lambda transition from S to F. Similarly, S produces 1A or 0 corresponds to the transition A read 1 sends you back to A and A read 0 takes you over to F. And finally, B produces 0, B or 1 gives us And so we have our finite automaton that recognizes the same language as our original context-free grammar.